All right, we're right in the middle of uh, football season. A lot of our high school players are trying to overcome sore muscles, possibly injuries to rack up more wins, but one has cleared an especially difficult obstacle to be on the field. All right, Kilo 8 News Now's Paul Harris joins us with his story. Paul, this football player has done it all with a smile. Noah, I met a Worcester High freshman who is as sore and as tired as any other player trying to navigate his first year of high school football. However, he is just excited to be a part of the team while overcoming his disability. And in the process, he has endeared himself to his coaches and teammates alike. Meet Josh Bien Tiempo, a freshman defensive back and running back at Worcester High. By all accounts, he's your average 14 year old, except that he is deaf. During Oklahoma drills, his coaches give him praise when he does well and counsel when he doesn't. Oh, God! No, down here. Okay, squeeze your knees. Bien Tiempo has to sometimes rely on his teammates for help. Sometimes when I mess up plays, and then my teammates will tell me what the play is so I don't get messed up. Coaches have switched to hand signals to help, but to also improve their offense. A lot of times in our games, we won't huddle up. We'll call the signals, and the kids, not just Josh knows them, but we all know the signals, so we can communicate like that, and it's helped us with our hurry-up offense and with our no-huddle defense. BN Tiempo also has the help of a translator, Mandy Kahn, at practices and games. She had to learn X's and O's as well. Absolutely, it's improved immensely. <laughs> I knew nothing before I started. To his teammates, BN Tiempo is just Josh, as they are collectively trying to add to the win column. Because I don't really think about him being deaf. He's just a normal kid. He's just a part of. He's just part of the team and my friend. And BN Tiempo would not have it any other way. I feel connected with all our teams, not just not just because I'm deaf, as a family, friends. Now, BN Tiempo does have some issues while he is playing. He can't hear the whistle very well, so he has to rely on teammates to know when the play is over. But so far, he has not been flagged for any late hits this season. I love this story. I love this young man, and hopefully they'll use those hand signals, Paul, moving forward. Yeah, hopefully. Now that th everybody is learning, right? Hopefully they'll uh, get some more wins in the process as well. They're, they're, last time I checked, they were 0-5, but they do have a game tonight, though. All Great right. stuff. Thank you, Paul.